Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views, and interviews. Hello, I'm Phil Blizzard from the Arabian Travel Market in Dubai. News, views, and interviews brought to you on a daily basis from the Arabian Travel Market in conjunction with Breaking Travel News. Now, this is the first in person travel event in Dubai, in the UAE, in the Middle East, in fact, in the entire world. A very important day today on the opening of this event. The show was opened by His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, President of the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority, CEO and founder of the Emirates Group. And the show got underway today. The show has a theme of a new dawn for travel and tourism. Uh, one well, of the highlights of the first day was the much anticipated opening session, moderated by Becky Anderson, managing the Managing Editor of CNN Abu Dhabi and anchor for the TV channel. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening session, Tourism for a Brighter Future. And I have to start by saying just how thrilled I am to be on this stage physically today for what is the first major in-person international travel event since the outbreak. Travelwise with Phil Blizzard. News, views and interviews. Well, with the show well underway, I'm able to give you some breaking travel news from the first day of the Arabian travel market. News from uh, Abu Dhabi, news from Russell Kamer. And also we have some interviews from, well, Fly Dubai and also Abu Dhabi itself. So let's start off with the breaking news from Abu Dhabi. Breaking travel news, London at the Arabian travel market. We're on the Abu Dhabi stand. Some big breaking news now, which Ali is going to tell us about. Yeah, so uh, the big news is Abu Dhabi will be a quarantine free destination starting from 1st of July 2020, where we're going to welcome uh, everyone to Abu Dhabi with no quarantine uh, following uh, specific uh, uh, travel protocols. That is very big news indeed. So what will be the main protocols in place? Uh, actually, we will give the details of these protocols in the coming days. Uh, it will have more details into the uh, protocols and the testing of uh, the travellers. So that's heading into the summer season. So what can visitors from across the world expect in Abu Dhabi during the summer months? So as you mentioned, you know, summer season is a big season for us. And we, we want to make it you know, a, a very enjoyable uh, uh, season for uh, for people to travel in Abu Dhabi. It's a kickstart of uh, you know traveling season back uh, to the new normal. So we will be ready to host everybody here. Enjoy uh, the beach, enjoy the swimming pools, the resorts in Abu Dhabi, and the theme parks as well. I like that phrase, kickstart to the uh, back to the the real world, the normal. So Abu Dhabi, uh, moving ahead rapidly with that. And here at the Arabian Travel Market, what's it like to meet? Uh, so many people from the business, from the trade, face to face. Yeah, actually, it's uh, it has been a long time since we we met, you know, with the, with the, our colleagues and partners, and this is a great opportunity to meet people again, face to face, engage with the partners, you know, show some uh, positive signs, and also uh, start to plan for the uh, coming uh, months. And once again, let's finish off with that big breaking news from Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, Abu Dhabi will uh, will be a quarantine-free destination starting from the 1st of July. So we welcome everyone to, to Abu Dhabi. Ali, thank you very much indeed. And uh, we look forward to seeing you some other time here at the Arabian Travel Market. Thank you so much. Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views and interviews. That was His Excellency Ali Hassan Al Sheba, Executive Director of Tourism and Marketing at the Department of Culture and Tourism in Abu Dhabi. Now, Fly Dubai are uh, present at the Arabian Travel Market as they have for uh, so many years. And uh, this year, by the way, is the uh, third anniversary of holidays by Fly Dubai. We'll find out now a bit about, from their side, how they see trends and how travel is changing in their sector. At the Arabian Travel Market, the first in-person event in the region and in the world, in fact, we're taking a look at uh, trends when it comes to travel and Sudir from Fly Dubai. Start off, you've got some star destinations in your on your uh, hat. Yes, when we, one, thing, one trend that we've just now seen is that holidays are back. Yep. People are you know, frustrated. I think they course, want to get yeah. out and yep. uh, the new norm is social distancing. So we see people are now heading to resorts. And we see that happening in Maldives and Zanzibar. People want chalets and people want space and 
So that's the new customer on the holiday side. So you're so, responsible for those star destinations of Zanzibar, short flying time, really, direct flight, right. and also the Maldives. So right. uh, what's the traffic been like over the recently Eid holidays for you? Well, as I said, people want to get out, right? And so while we see staycations happening in UAE, which we have catered for on holidays, we're also seeing people wanting to get out and beach destinations promise us some distance. So as I told you, at Fly Dubai, we have ensured that safety on board is is there, the aircrafts are clean, sanitized, is hygiene, but the customer now wants destinations where they can explore some space and you know and they can be left with their families. And we respect that. And we see those new families now coming uh, to Maldives and to Zanzibar and the numbers are increasing. So that's a good start, uh, especially from Malaysia slowly so, creeping yeah. their way back as we expect to come out of this crisis. And of course, uh, Fly Dubai has a holiday section and division, so holidays by Fly Dubai. What does it mean if you book a package rather than sort of do it yourself with flights and separate bookings for hotels? Well, the good thing is that our experienced people have monitored the trends of what the customer needs. So we have packaged everything together. So it's a one-stop shop. All your requirements vis-a-vis uh, -vis your hotel, vis-a-vis -vis the way you want your rooms, vis-a-vis -vis the way you want to accommodate your children, all that's taken care of. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole price. Uh, but most important is the flexibility we allow for our customers to make their uh, changes and to ensure that you know we're able to get them what they want. So with the package, you got that advantage, that flexibility. Because if you do it yourself, you got to change the flight, you got exactly. to change hotel yeah. bookings, transfers, a whole lot. And plus, it's and all, when you do it yourself, it's all piecemeal, and you don't know yeah. where to go for what. Sure. Here, you come to us, and we'll sort that out for you. In most so cases. So that is one of the other trends: the packaged aspect of holidays, which in this part of the world is a bit different to Europe, where Europe is really sort of geared up to packaged holidays. It's perhaps a, you know for a lot of people a new concept here, and it's taking off here. Well. Europe has always been a different market because you know you see more people doing inclusive tours. They go in groups, you know, and that trend will continue. But here we see more families, more individuals who want to travel with their uh, with their loved ones, and they would love now to ensure that someone takes care of all the complexities because because Phil, travel is not the same as before. Certainly, isn't so it, you know all the formalities and all the documentations have to be taken care of, and I think be quite well catered for the holidays to do that. So moving ahead, you've had the busy period of the Eid holidays, looking towards summer, you're launching a number of summer destinations. So in your territory, what can we expect? Well, I must tell you this, you know, pre-condemic, pre-pandemic, the trends have changed, right? Post-pandemic, uh, we don't expect to see routine trends. We would see uh, a wavy kind of business where we have right. opportunities and a blip and opportunity blip. So yes, we're geared up for summer, uh, there's some exciting destination that we have that we opened up. We have opened up some new routes in Russia, but as I said, the customers changed. So we need to be ensure that we are agile to be able to cater to them as they come out, sure. be it an air bubble or be the opening of air skies. Okay, so you have that flexibility, and it's been good talking to you here at the Arabian Travel Market, talking in person. None of these screens, no more zooming at the moment. So thanks is, very much. It is, it is, but we'll, we'll get out of this. Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views, and interviews. Talking there with Suit here, Street Haran, the Senior Vice President for Commercial Operations at Fly Dubai for the region of the UAE, GCC, Indian Subcontinent, and Africa. And from Dubai to the Northern Emirates of Ras Al Khaimah here in the UAE. And the big news from them was the announcement of a massive funding for some future tourism projects, sustainable future tourism projects worth half a billion. Dirhams, and we'll have more news on that tomorrow with a special interview with the CEO of Russell Kema Tourism Development Authority, Raki Phillips. I'm Phil Blizzard in Dubai at the Arabian Travel Market with a podcast brought to you by Travelwise in conjunction with Breaking Travel News. Travelwise with Phil Blizzard. News, views and interviews. And if you would like to have a podcast production for your organisation, do get in touch with me. Drop me an email, philblizzardmedia at gmail.com. A Phil Blizzard radio production.